having to think about this, what the urban centres and press release going to be, because until now, I was not clear. We've got a lot of data, great, keep giving me a bit excited, I love the atmosphere, but in terms of the challenge to the journalists, can you sum up in one sentence what's happened? That really was a bit beyond that, and then it's having to click. Because so far, until that point, you know, we've got, it was hard to put the shoot together, wasn't it? The overall of what was going on. I think we've got, yes, it, it, when we started, yes. it was very, the overall picture is very simple, straightforward, because we're in, in school, in garden, 20th century garden, yeah. the past yeah. since then. But we've now got four trenches, each telling, at the moment, a different yeah. story. Mm. And some of them are aligned and have features in, mm. which, at the moment, we haven't quite mm. sort of related. So, perhaps with a bit of cleaning up, and a little exposure, mm. a few more edges, we may, may work out what we've got. And so is we, the had, we, we had expectations, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Of, of did. east-west walls. It was mm. dead, dead trick, really. Yes. Um, we would find, possibly, the, the main cloister wall, which is also the victory, and then we find the car wall, again, running east-west. And, you know, it looks like it's fine. But, uh, but we, you know, we're not quite there. What we have discovered is a wall playing north-south, which, which contains this reused in it a couple of bits of 12th century and of course the bit years on the top of the camera. Yeah. But it also reveals a lot about the site itself is that although many of you focusing on the Hyde Abbey story, there was a life beyond Hyde Abbey, there was a life beyond 1530, other things happened subsequently, yeah. right through to the 19th century and the 20th century. So that explains part of the complexity of this Yes, yes. I think one of the extraordinary things that's emerged already this for me, in one of the trenches today, is the depth of the ground surface mm. in those okay. in the area of those gardens. Right. Yeah. Gar particularly Justine's garden, where already it seems to be well below the it's below the street level, yeah, and it's right. below the level of the path of that yeah. track. Yeah. And I think maybe on about it is it is it's it's all that yeah. uh, right. that yeah. path. Yeah. That, that, that thing. But then we, we we see what looks to be a, a thin layer of, of, mm. of soil. Mm. Like, mm. Like, uh, it's a mm. probably yeah. turf on the But surely there's lines with what we found in the Leyden's Garden last year. We had to dig quite a long way down yeah. last year, didn't we? Yes, yeah. so it looks so as if it's about. Presumably, you think up. it does align yeah. up. So, yes. Yeah, so well, yeah. we, we dug down a long way we because, long. in fact, if you look at the garden sheds yes. yeah. behind the wall, right. uh, they're way up. They're about three feet so high. They are, yeah. exactly yes. that. So, that's right. why the, the um, level that we're encountering yeah. is yeah. Yeah. much shallower. And that's a story almost. It, it's so right, isn't it? Because in the 12th century, that would have been a level playing field, so to speak. And yet, here we are, 800 years later, there's that three, four... But don't you think, I think that the, in my ignorance, my archaeological ignorance, I think this is the fascinating thing about a project like this, because it is multi-layered. Yeah. And so it is multi-interesting mm. for the community. And it, it, it is obviously of huge archaeological interest going back to the Abbey. Yeah. But it also, you know, people have been fascinated by that little pudding dog. Yes, yes. Particularly the children from St. Beats. Mm. And the fact that there are layers and layers of soil as a gardener, I very much appreciate in this neck of the woods. But also the fact that you turn up all sorts of different things as you go through right. those. Yeah. 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 And my understanding of the ladies depth of them was that that was the spoil from the building yes. in 1700 and yeah. 1748 I think as part of the Bridewell so yeah. Yeah. it all clashes together yeah. into a community yeah. pattern that we should all be involved in and interested in. Well, we one of the most exciting things today, apart from what mm. I think that we're going yeah, to come back to yeah, your, quite, your first yeah, line, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was uh, towards the end of the day when David found um, this piece of painted Roman mm. um, plaster work. Oh, plaster indeed. Yeah. Um, and he's going to explore that more yeah, tomorrow, quite, I indeed. think, yeah. um, which may reveal, mm. yes. gosh, mm. even. Yeah. Well, yeah. it is a reminder, in any case, there was a big Roman cemetery just up the road, you know, literally 150 yards away. Bones Alley. On Hyde Street, to, to the west, there was an oh, enormous Roman yes. cemetery there, up to Lankhills. Lankhills, yes. I mean, a vast yeah. Roman cemetery. Yeah. And that's another story of Pine Because, 
because that's where the Romans put their cemeteries outside the wall. Right. Yeah. Oh yes, very much. Are we sure? Are we sure that the blaster? Is no, 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 no. That's, no, no, that, that's an aside. No, no, because, that's an aside. I'm because not I have seen yes. painted, yeah. random painted blaster in the close, where it clearly is. Mm. is Yes, it's medieval, so. but yeah. I'm not a Romanist, so I, 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 this is something I think it would be possible to examine the composition. We'd absolutely get more steer, steer on this, but that would be very exciting, would it not? Indeed. Uh, Indeed. But why, Gusty, you're hosting all this. How do you feel about having all these people creeping across your garden? I found the whole thing absolutely fascinating. I've loved every minute. There's a whole sort of buzz. Mm -hmm going on and, and everyone seems to just be enjoying themselves mm. and the fact that the weather's helped yeah. as well yeah. helps. Yeah. But everyone just seems so interested and fascinated yeah. and I mean, I'm, I've just loved it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it has been remarkable, the, the enthusiasm from really quite small children. Yeah. Up to quite elderly yeah. gates in the sense yeah. of that. So. Well, it's but we've had people coming from yes. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. far afield. Yeah. Yeah. Across Hampshire, actually, yes, you can say. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Dibden Pearly, you said. Dibden Pearly, that's the thing. And Cold and Common, and you know, which yeah. is indeed. There was a lady today from us, uh, Epsom. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How did you hear that? Do you know how to hear that? Through a friend who lives in Hyde. There was a lady. Who's a, a, a grandmother who lives in Exeter? Evans. Who yeah. brought her grandchildren just to have a look? Mm. Um, but it's lovely. It's it tapped into something which I think is deep, you know, yeah. in a way. Well, they have a response to it, they literally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the way the parents are talking about their children, the way their children are saying, this is a whole new world I wasn't aware of, but it's on my doorstep and it's something I can relate to. Mm, exactly. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is a once in a lifetime opportunity yes. for me. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. How often do you get mm. a group of people saying, can we dig up your garden? <laughs> 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 yeah. well, yeah. this, Edward, that brings us back mm. to your first line. Well, the first line is, and I'm speaking in a very journalistic way, because I think that Although, I mean, on the one hand, it's fantastic all these people are having a lovely time and experiencing the dig and so forth. But I think, in a way, you also have to have an output at the end. There, there needs to be a result. And I think that result needs to be e easily understood by both people doing it and the wider world. And I think the fact we found, thanks to John, not one abacus, now but two. The stone's slightly confusing me to some other kind of why it's called abacus, maybe. It's, but anyway, the abacus is the stone that goes onto a capital because. Certainly, the, the first thing in my experience which really switched me on to the specialness, in a sense, of this area of the story was going into St. Bart's many, many years ago and seeing those capitals and how beautiful they are. And, I, 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 and, and ever since then, I've been, you know, that has been sparked my interest. But I wondered, what's the context of that? Because there they are, these four capitals. What do they relate to? How else do they fit in? And suddenly we've made a big step forward, I think, in a sense. Okay, it's a, you know, it's a small piece of stone, but nonetheless, we now see the relationship well, between, we hope. I don't know for certain, we don't know for certain that they yeah. come from that particular Not those particular stone. capitals. Well, but, certainly not but, those particular no, not capitals, particular, but, no, but, but there yeah. is a coincidence of dimension indeed, indeed. and of date, <laughs> indeed. because those capitals are generally dated what to and then to that sort of date. I think I will, I'll check what the art historians have said mm. about that. Mm. And likewise, the form of those 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 uh, capitals, the, uh, those amicuses mm. or whatever kind, mm. uh, is, is they're very dateable as well. Right. Um, yeah. and, and they become more fancy later later on in the 12th mm. century. But mm. Uh, mm. Uh, so. Right date, yes. right size, yes. and those capitals are too small to be within the church. Well, so exactly. they, they probably say, come from, 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 well, let's say a cloister, yes, because right. there may have been more than one cloister. There That's could have been the main yes. cloister, there could have been an infirmary cloister, or right. there could have yes. been other, other arcade structures yeah. as well. Right. But, 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 uh, mm. but for the same argument, mm. you might say mm. that uh, from from the main cloister, they certainly wonderfully decorated the capital. Yeah, it's good, right. And it may not be coincidence, the find spot, or well, the use spot, being yes. so close yeah. to the area, yeah. which yeah. we think yeah. was the was yeah. the cloister. I mean, is it coincidence, or is it significant, that these two yeah. have been found in the same garden? Yeah. Well, we can't say it's I'm not quite sure yet why they have been why reused they are, in the particular in the way that they yeah. are. Yeah. 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 Y
not quite sure of the alignment. We've got drones in the original alignment. Yeah, the, right. the levels, yeah. Level, yeah. the level of the, yeah. the one which is turned place seems to coincide with a rather well, well defined floor. Yeah. Which is on the inside of the building with a rather fine, mm. plain, fine face. So mm. we don't know for certain that they were reused at the Reformation. Uh, but, but that might be, the, might be the assumption. In which case, what is that building? Which, alas, doesn't show on any of the, no, the historic quite. maps. Yeah. But then the first historic maps are quite a long time after yeah, the solution. Yeah, plenty of time for buildings to come and go. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that particular spot would have been conceivably in Bethel's garden, quite a long way from, from the house itself. Mm -hmm. But they had, he had a very big garden, didn't he? Yeah. And all the way down from Hyde Street, effectively down to the river. Yeah, you could be looking at a garden, a yeah. garden feature of some sort. Yeah, quite. Uh, yeah. Possibly reuse of, of, of nice bits. I mean, mm. they end up in Hyde all over the place. In the, yeah, in the garden right. of the old school there yeah. in Hyde Street, yeah. where we have had wonderful, yeah. wonderful yeah. pieces which would be reinserted. Yeah. But let's go back to the other pits and the fact that we're slightly confused. Is the answer we need to explore more? The more we explore, presumably, the more we'll find out. Or will that make it more complicated? Given the time. <laughs> Not today, I'm talking about today, I'm talking in the future. In the future, probably. Maybe, you know. But in order to get a steer, and the notion that perhaps one well, should just do a little sondage, mm. don't think it sounds so much more scientific, scientific yeah, in French. No, it does, uh, just to, just At least to to in French. Get a, get, a, get, a, get, a, get a bit of an idea mm. of, the, of, of, of the things to come, and I don't mm. think that would, be, that would be too destructive if mm. well, if, if well recorded. Just see yeah. some of Yes. Mm. Otherwise, one doesn't want to be left with four tantalizing no. tantalizing questions. Mm. But archaeology is it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Well there's certainly a plan for uh, two or three sondages tomorrow. Mm. Uh, one at right angles to establish the position of uh, that medieval wall that's been recorded in the past. Sorry Dave, can you just unpack the uh like the sondage is a the sondage is just a very posh way for digging a hole yeah. in the middle of another hole. Okay, right. Thank you. So, yes, indeed. Um, so they're going to put a minor hole in a bigger hole. Okay. And without just tracing down the stuff which exists underneath, which isn't the way, because you've got to do it by context. So you maintain the level on the main and the other way that they used to dig it. Then you actually do it in an ordered way into silence 30 by 40, and they take it down. And that establishes whether the wall face exists. In the case of uh, the main uh, medieval wall that was discovered in 1999. And I think the great thing about this is it leaves lots of questions unanswered. And it's created this interest. And we've got no less than four guards yeah. who are happy. To be explored, yes, indeed, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which is great, following on from this wonderful yeah. example. Yeah. That yeah. Right. So, in, yeah. in terms of the response by the people who've been involved, Scotty, Susan, what have you seen from the feedback forms? Oh, it's been extraordinary. Um, I don't think any feedback form speaks about anything that isn't positive. Right. right. Um, I think the really lovely thing that we have so enjoyed is the huge range of people of experience and age and um, uh, length of, of living in Hyde, mm. you know, they've been complete yeah, newbie well, people well, who've come yeah, along, yeah. I've just lived in this area, what mm. is this all about? Mm. And you've got some people who've been here for a very long time and some people in the middle who just um, sort of were aware of the Abbey and aware that they lived in a very historic area but not aware of the specifics. Yeah, it's quite right. And um, I think the particularly great thing has been the response from the St Bede's children. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which has been yeah. fantastic yeah. because we went and did a day there and they thoroughly enjoyed it yeah. and it lit a lot of fires for them. And the, they come back um, and actually experience a dig um, or a sieve or a clean, you know, and that wonderful thing about who we're going to find. And they've been alive with it, which has been great, hasn't it? Well, one of them was we met on the way down, myself, to this house. And uh, we, we met him, and it was his birthday. And guess what he'd been given? <laughs> an archaeologist. Oh, <laughs> and he's bringing it along tomorrow. Oh, to right. Right. Oh, fantastic. His garden, I should say, looks like 
a major rubbish tip because he's been uncovering everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what he will find? Yeah. I think the other really encouraging thing, and I sort of put my education hat on here, has been the fact that the number of parents yeah. who have ensured yes. that, you know, they've yeah, they stopped. Yeah. If their child hasn't stopped, they have stopped. Yeah, quite. And they've gone, yeah. oh, look yeah. at this. No, no, quite. No, no. What do we yeah. think about this? Yeah. Yeah. Fancy that being under this, yeah, quite. this yeah. you know, bit of ground that we're standing on. Yeah. Which has been superb, and in many ways, again, a testament to the community. And certainly, what I would also say from the, the informal feedback I got talking to parents and others was there's a hunger for more information, more explanation about how Abbey, its location, its role in its history. And I think that strengths and track. In our case, for arguing with the city what more needs to be done to interpret the site. So, what do you think? Do you think we should do to try and satisfy that? Yeah. Well, I. Oh, uh, yeah, just it. <laughs> I don't just continue doing what you're doing, and. I think we need to step up. I because think, step I up think the different. more gardens you look at, the bigger the picture you, you will mm. will see, and gradually, I suppose, at some point, it'll all start fitting yes. together because it all just adds to the knowledge yes. of. It does. But then we have to capture that knowledge and make it available because we can our family unless it's actually established in some institutional way. So in the meantime you've got a Christmas pudding doll for the mantelpiece, along with some lovely pieces of encaustic tile. Yeah. yeah. Um, dating back to what the 13th, 14th century? Well, it's the 13th century ones, yes. yes. The, 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 the pattern ones. Yes. Uh, and big ones. And a little bit of the Flemish tile. Oh, of course, yes. yes. That was yes. the Flemish tile. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's take a little Christmas. Yes, the Christmas pudding doll is one of the clips. It must be a French idea. It's a Victorian day. We used to have those when I was living in France, the Gâteau des Rois. You used to have a thing which you break your teeth on. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this, again, you know, I challenge the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not too good, not something you really want to child to swallow. Yeah. Fantastic. So we've got a bit to come tomorrow. We've got a bit to come tomorrow. So I would like to give a toast now to the diggers and to David and to John. Yeah. Yeah. And above all, to you, Dusty. Yeah. 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 So here's to here's to Hyde, Hyde Abbey, and and I think that's it. Well, we